Hello, everybody. I'm back in the studio, aka my room. Um, gonna tell you one of my favorite stories told by my dad about his dad um, on how he became the world's greatest fisherman. So, my grandpa and my dad and myself are all very, um, we like fishing a lot. And he, excuse me, he, my grandpa, would spend a lot of his money going to Alaska and doing sports fishing. So you hire a captain, and it's probably like you and three other dudes or girls hire a captain, and you go out and spend three days fishing. Um, so my grandpa goes out, and he doesn't know these other three fishermen, but... Um, you know, everyone's, everyone's cool. Everyone's just happy. They're out fishing. And so this is, this is a while back. So, you know, a lot of the equipment isn't how good it is today, especially the, the nets, the fishing nets. Um, a lot of them back then were just kind of like rope or like strong string attached to the the net part whereas now they're like nylon and plastic and you know super strong stuff and they get old you know they get old and wear down a lot so my grandpa hooks this huge salmon you know they're chasing it it's spooling them taking out all of his line and you know, he finally gets it up to the boat. And if you've ever seen a fish or a seal or something in the water, all you can really see is this big green blob. You know, you don't get much detail. And this fish is giant. It's like 45, 50 pounds. And the captain, he goes in to net the fish. And he puts the net in the water, takes it out, and the fish goes through the bottom of the net. And... Everyone's like, like, oh my gosh, like, that is so unfortunate. Um, everyone's like, like, no, you know, they're all complaining. My grandpa, he's, you know, persistent on catching this fish. He is like, I just spent an hour and a half, two hours reeling in this fish, fighting this fish. It's probably the biggest fish I'll ever catch. And he looks over the looks over the boat and sees that the little green blob is still just like floating there in the water and you know this is a fisherman's tale so who knows how much of this is true but supposedly my grandpa jumps into the water the alaskan water and everyone's like what like where did you go and he comes back up holding a 40 pound fish throws it on the boat jumps back onto the boat and everyone is just like mesmerized by my grandpa's persistence on catching this fish and that is how he became known as the world's greatest fisherman and to this day those my grandpa is now passed but um all the people that he was on that boat with still go up to alaska and they fish and my dad has taken my grandpa's spot and they all tell this story and it's like I sit there and I'm a kid and I'm like, like, yeah, there's no way, but you know, they're they're all very adamant that this story is true. So that is the story of my grandpa becoming the world's greatest fisherman. Thank you.